We got hostiles in the area. I got it. I'll fly. Back it up. Back it up. I'm good. Crank it. Target spotted. Hold up. I've got eyes on a submarine anchored out in the river. Now that That's something you don't hear every day. This must be one of the subs Bowman was talking about. We need to take it out and sweep the area to see if there's more. There can't be that many spots where these things could anchor. Shifted off to K Manus. What have you got for us? For the past couple of years. The cartel has been experimenting with high-tech submarines as a way to smuggle powder into the US. Best we can tell, these subs follow one of the tributaries up to the Amazon, then into the Atlantic for a transit to the Florida coast. Jesus, it's a 
couple thousand miles. Exactly. The man running the program is called El Cerebro. We've got almost nothing on this guy. Rumor has it he's some kind of genius, a real mad scientist type. We know he's been ordering all kinds of military-grade electronics to upgrade his subs capabilities. We need a better picture of what's going on in Caimanes. Get me all the intel you can on their submarine ops, as well as El Cerebro and his research. If you get actionable intel on the cartel submarine... Hey, it's me. Sorry about that. About time. I was starting to get worried. We need a better picture of what's going on in Caimanes. Get me all the intel you can on their submarine ops, as well as El Cerebro and his research. If you get actionable intel on the cartel submarine fleet, take them out. Let's put some hurt on El Cerebro and see how he reacts. Maybe he'll make a mistake and we can grab him. Sounds good. We're on it. Most cartel members are violent idiots who are too high to care, but Patricio Mendez Valle, aka El Cerebro, is an oddball genius who's too fucking smart to bother. Nidia Flores spotted his intellect when he was just a kid. She sent him to college in Mexico and later grad school in California. Word is he was too strange and misanthropic for even that crowd, but he popped up on our radar. El Cerebro heads up the cartel's submersible program out of Caimenez. From Caimenez, his semi-submersibles, sometimes carrying as much as 10 tons of cocaine, head downriver to Brazil, then to the Atlantic. From there, floating just a few feet below the surface, they can go all the way to Mexico, even as far as Florida. But smuggling with these semi-submersibles will soon be a thing of the past. He and Nydia have ambitions to make reusable, fully submersible craft. Think what a multi-billion dollar criminal enterprise could do with a fleet of submarines. Smuggling would be just the start. If we're gonna take down these subs, we need El Cerebro and his jagged ass brain intact and cooperative. Just remember, he's Nydia's pet project. She won't give him up easy. got eyes on a small armored boat anchored near a cartel outpost. That outpost is a logistics base for the cartel submarine program. The activity caught wind of a boat carrying electronics for El Cerebro's new design. Can you get to it? Yeah, we can get on board. You want us to sink it? Hell no. I want you to steal it. If we shut down these cartel antennas, it'll fuck up their comm system. Drone. Marking a captain. 
Roger that. I need a better position. Roger that. Target marked. I got it. Moving to position. Target marked. Ready. Call the shot. Fire, fire, fire. Stay. Clear on this side. Get to the next antenna. Clock's ticking. This AO is part of Santa Blanca's coke smuggling operation. Bowman's got files for us on all the major players. Woman in charge is Nydia Flores, an ex-beauty queen turned drug trafficker. Her right-hand man is a dude named El Boquita. Ugly motherfucker. Seems to handle on-the-ground logistics. She's the brains, he's the brawn. Her Santissima Muerte so loved the Santa Blanca cartel that she gave us her only begotten daughter that whoever believeth in her should not perish, but have everlasting life. Many years ago, we were in trouble, in la desesperación, on the verge of extinction, being torn to pieces by the snakes and ratas. I believed that hope was lost, that it was too late for us. Era el fin. But just when I was ready to give up, it happened. Nidia Flores came forth, known to us as La Reina de Belleza, the Beauty Queen. And with her, she brought prosperity, wealth, and retribution. We feel her charity, su amor, deep in our hearts. As she continues to spread her gospel across the world, to every corner of the globe, Praise to Saint Nidia, Queen of Queens, Reina de Reinas, Goddess among mongrels. All right, let's do this. The Santa Blanca Cocaine Superhighway. Every year, more than 350 tons of coke leaves Bolivia, reaching about 20 million users worldwide. That means they're pulling in an average of $2 billion a week. How do they do it? Three little words. Air, land, sea. All coordinated by the head of smuggling, Nidia Flores. La Reina de Belleza. The beauty queen. And her right-hand man, the ravishing, the bewitching, the delectable, El Boquita. Ouch. Somebody get that guy a band-aid. The problem is, you see these guys on the news, you see decapitations, you see monsters, but you don't see the whole picture. These people are fucking geniuses. Case in point, you see tits, Nydia Flores sees opportunity. You see scrap metal, Nydia Flores sees submarines. You see holy water, Nydia Flores sees liquid cocaine. Because Nydia Flores is a fucking genius. You really want to shut down the cocaine superhighway? Hit the drugs, hit the money, then hit the beauty queen. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Baquita's is love. A smuggler from the age of six, El Baquita's father used to tape Acapulco gold on his son's body and then send him across the border. He called these trips vacaciones familiares, family vacations. By the time he was 13, Baquita was a trapeciador, a master smuggler. Cigarettes, alcohol, name brand clothes, DVDs, oil, wildlife, weapons, and of course, people. 
One time, he even smuggled in half a kilo of yellow cake uranium. If someone wanted it, El Bakito could move it. But it was never really about the money. For him, it was the rush. Until he met the beauty queen. Nydia Flores saw his talent and made him her right-hand man. Nydia was the brains. Bukita was the brawn. The thing is, he was head over heels from the moment he first laid eyes on her. Nydia never felt the same way, but one drunken night she gave in. A little bit of sperm roulette, and nine months later, they had a daughter, Valeria. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Bukita has two. <laughs>